In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem with the uh, Big Tricks Control Hub application, where it gives you a driver error when trying to configure your controller. So this is uh, an extensive t tutorial. I'm going to show you what I did to fix my problem on a Windows 11 computer. So this is my gaming computer, and I do have Steam. I have uh, Epic game launcher and other applications so what you need to do is first you need to go over to your control panel and I made a list in here of things that you need to do so under programs and features if you use any applications listed here uh, you need to uninstall them uh, this one here belongs to DS4 Windows so if you have used DS4 Windows and you have this and you see it here I think it's called Nefarious B I G E and Bus go ahead and uninstall it if you have ReadWast you want to uninstall it if you have the files for DS4 Windows you want to delete them if you use DualSense X DS5 you want to uninstall it uh, Joy2Key or any other controller emulator app that's not listed here uh, once you do that, uh, the next step is to check if you ever use the overclocking uh, program called Hit USBF. Uh, many of you use this to overclock your controller, but as many of you know, this leaves behind a file in your System32 file, or I mean folder. So if you go to this PC, go to your local disk go to Windows and go to System32 for, for me in my case this specific problem got fixed by deleting this file so if you go to System32 and you search for uh, HID USB uh, it's gonna find the default ones but if you have the one that has the F at the end listed here you wanna go ahead and delete that one yeah of course that means that your overclocking will disappear but for me, in my case, this fixed this specific problem. All right, the next thing is to go to your Steam settings. So I already have Steam settings open in here. Uh, you wanna go to controller. And then under controller, you wanna uh, mimic uh, the settings that you see here. And I disable game rumble, I disable all the support for controllers for the Xbox uh, for the PlayStation controller support I switch it to not enable I only left enable the Steam generic controllers and if you have the Xbox extended feature support driver install you want to uninstall it uh, you should see a message here that says uninstall and then on your desktop layout you want to make sure that it looks like mine's if it's enabled it will say disable so you want to go ahead and disable it and once you're done with steam uh, the next thing that you could do is you could go to the Starro apps open this and then look for steam and disable steam that means every time you reboot your computer uh, steam won't launch so once you do all of this go ahead and restart your computer and open the application once again so if you get the message once again that the driver is conflicting all you need to do is disconnect your controller for five seconds and connect it again it could be either the wire or the wireless dongle and then it should take you to the home page of the application like this so this is what you will need to do to fix this problem uh, the other thing that you could do is if you do get the message once again after you've done all of this you could click on the message that says support and it'll take you to the home page for uh, big tricks and then it's going to allow you to download a registry file so once you download the registry file you want to just double click it click run and then install it once you install it you go ahead and restart your computer go ahead and open the application once it comes back up 
And if you get the message one more time, the sequence is to open the app, get the message, and then remove your controller and then plug it back in after five seconds. So that's what I did to fix this specific problem. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe to my channel.